Matt, I'm sitting here at the airport and uh, stop to make this video here really quick. I'm walking around talking about food and what you can eat uh, when you are trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to stop using the word diet, I don't like that word. Uh, when you are trying to live it, trying to eat a clean lifestyle. And it's hard at the airport. I, unless, I mean, yes, you say, Jerry, you can always buy a little bit of protein in a box. It's going to cost you $12 for, you know, I don't know, 10 grams, 15, 20 grams of protein. You can buy eggs. You absolutely can. They're 3 $4 a piece. You can buy hamburger at any one of these fast food joints or any one of these bars. But the hamburger is going to cost you, again, for any amount of food that would even begin to fill you up, it's not going to be cheap. I like to take the day and fast. So I don't eat any, I only drink, that's it. All I do is drink. When I travel all day, I just make it my 36 hour fast. It's a perfect opportunity to do that. And you can do it when you're in the car, you can do it when you're uh, on an airplane. It doesn't really matter, you can do it at any time because trying to figure out what to eat, I think at an airport, ultimately will make you eat something that you don't want to. It's cost prohibitive to eat healthy at an airport in any amount and it is, I think, too much of a uh, it's too much of an indulgence almost as you walk into these restaurants to to try to stop yourself from buying the things that you shouldn't buy and it's amazing how hard I'm in a brand new part of the airport here in Tennessee here in Nashville it's beautiful and they got Hattie B's fried chicken and they got Slim and Husky's pizza and they got every kind of bar and beer and brew and everything you could possibly want except anything that's healthy so that's the way I do it. Um, people know this and follow me regularly. Those that don't, welcome. And I think that with a little bit of foresight, a little bit of thought, and just kind of planning for it, I ate my last meal last night about 8 o'clock. That means tomorrow morning when I get up, I will be good to go. And we'll have breakfast tomorrow morning, probably somewhere around 10 o'clock in the morning. So uh, there's a hack for you, and it's good for you. You get your fast in. 36 hours ain't going to kill you. I'm doing my miles right now. I'm about mile three waiting for my airplane. Uh, and I feel good. I'm hungry. Um, but that'll pass here by the time I land in Atlanta and ultimately head to the northwest, uh, Portland. And tomorrow morning, though, I will crush uh, an 8 egg breakfast omelet with cheddar cheese and bacon and pepperoni if I go to the right restaurant. It's critical on that omelet. Opportunities are everywhere. you got to go get them. Go for a walk.